Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new here. Hi, it's been a while. Um, we haven't been uploading on this channel for quite some time mainly because we've been in the process of moving but we've moved into a new house so um, we're looking forward to making more videos for you guys. So jumping in for today's video, we are making instant noodles instantly better. So we're taking a pack of instant noodles and taking all the things that you could find in the kitchen and your pantry and just dumping them in and see what happens. <laughs> That's basically how I figured out how to do this. So this is something that you can make at home when you're just rushing to make dinner or you just want something quick to eat. And um, this is really good if you do have a cold or you're feeling a little bit under the weather. So if you'd like to see how to make this, then please keep on watching. All right, so first things first, you have to choose your noodle. So these are the four noodles that I really love. Um, we have the Shin Black Ramen noodle. It's really good. This is one of the best. Um, it's really good as a ramen noodle, but not like a like syrupy sort of noodle. We also have the Szechuan Mala noodles, which are kind of like a dry noodle. We have the stew type Samyang noodle, which is my all time favorite and the one we're going to be using for today's video. We also have um, this cheese flavored one. This one is really good. It's very spicy, more spicy than the stew type in my opinion. Um, we also can do this with cup noodles. Now you can do it with cup noodles, but use it at your discretion. Um, there's not a lot of ingredients that you can put in. So these are the ingredients uh, that I'm going to be putting into my noodles today. So we're going to take some cilantro. I took about like two flags of them and cut them up. We also have some minced garlic, some mushrooms, some bok choy, some more mushrooms, enoki mushrooms to be exact, and some green onions. We also have salt, pepper, and vegetable stock mix. Um, I'm not going to use too many more seasonings, mainly because instant noodles can be very salty, so I don't want to over salt my noodles. We're also going to be using one of my favorite things, which are rice cakes. Um, these rice cakes are filled with cheese, and I think that they're the perfect addition to any noodle, especially when you're using the Sam Yang type noodles. All right, so these are the ingredients that I'm using. You can use more ingredients or less ingredients. It's all up to you. So let's get started. All right, so now I'm going to put on my stove. And we're also going to put a pot of water in here. Now, I don't like a lot of liquid in my noodles, so mine is about half a cup of water. Um, you can use a full cup if you'd like. So before the water starts boiling, I'm actually going to put in my rice cakes. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the rice cakes tend to take a little more time to actually fully cook. And of course, instant noodles are very quick to make, so I don't want my rice cakes to be undercooked when I make my noodles. You can also add in the salt. You're going to add in your minced garlic and the black pepper. Now the reason I'm doing this now is so that it can kind of soak up into the rice cakes when it starts boiling. So unpacking our noodles, we have two packets there and also of course our noodles. The two packets are a dry seasoning and more of a paste. So what we're going to do first is add in our noodles. And now these noodles take a little bit more time than a regular Mr. Noodles, like instant noodle. So I tend to put them in first. I'm also going to put in my cilantro. Now you can use any greens of your choice. I just personally love cilantro and I put it in almost everything. So we're going to put that in first. All right, I'm going to take half of my cup of green onions because it's about a cup of green onions and I'm going to put that in. The other half we're going to save for later. You're then going to take the paste of your, or the soup stock of any type of noodle that you're doing, and you're going to put that straight in. Now, this is more of a paste, like a gochujang paste. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a very spicy paste that I personally love, but it's very spicy, so use at your discretion. I'm also going to be adding in half of our enoki mushrooms. Now, I'm using the other half as a garnish, so that's why we're only putting in half. I'm then taking my bok choy, and I'm also putting that in. And I really like bok choy, so I'm adding a little bit more. Okay, now I thought it would be very fitting for this video, so that's why I'm using chopsticks, but I'm just kind of 
stirring around the noodles just so that they can come apart. It's pretty easy to make instant noodles, but that's a basic thing that you need to do. And then I'm going to take the dry seasoning and also add that straight in. And as you can see, it's starting to really bubble and boil. So we want to start getting all the ingredients in as quick as possible. All right, now this part is optional, but I really love to crack an egg inside of my noodles. So I cracked an egg right here, and then we're also going to make sure that we mix up that seasoning that we had put in. Now, as you can see, I'm using one chopstick mainly because I do not want to break the egg whatsoever. Um, I like a more wet egg, but if you like your eggs more cooked, then I would say put in the egg a little bit earlier. All right, and then you're gonna let this cook for about a minute or two. Then we're gonna add in our garnishes to finish this off. So I'm gonna take some of the leftover enoki mushrooms. I thought they would look really nice on the top of the noodles. And I'm also taking the rest of the green onions and two of those mushrooms. Now you can have a lot of fun with this and add whatever you like. As you can see, I kind of placed the egg in the middle and put some rice cakes on the side, but they're all at the bottom. We also added some pork chops. Now we had made some pork chops for the day, so I decided to slice that up and add that in. And honestly, when I make these, I take a lot of the leftovers from the fridge and just kind of add them in. And it's a really good way of get, making use of those leftovers and just turning them into something that's even better than what it was. So we're just adding those straight in. And you can also add cheese on top. Now, that's optional. Um, for this recipe right now, I'm not adding cheese, but sometimes when I feel like it, I, I tend to add it. So I'm also adding the pork bone in there because that also adds a lot of good flavor. And there you have it. These are our instant noodles completed. So this is my take on instant noodles. I know instant noodles are a very simple thing to make, but I just wanted to share what I do with them. And it brings out a lot of creativity and it's a lot of fun. And it also helps you get rid of any leftovers that you have lying around. So I really hope that you guys um, enjoy this video. Please let me know if you've tried this out or whenever you make instant noodles, what do you add inside? I'd love to know so that I can try it out for my next recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. Also, don't forget that all of the ingredients will be listed in our com in our description box below. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I really hope you guys have a fantastic week and see you in the next one. Bye.